everyone welcome back to my channel this week's video is a continuation from the last video you've seen of mine which is decorating my new room so last time we got up to the blinds which are up and looking fabulous and i should have timed that last night but because i'm really terrible at this i didn't um but last night i spent i was up till literally like 1am moving all of my stuff like clothes bits and bobs from my current room into this massive wardrobe and into my bedside tables. My job right now is to, well, I'll show you. So if you see my last video, you'll know that I only had one of these bedside lamps. I've got a second one, which has arrived, which is lovely and they match perfectly, which is fabulous. Um, but what I need to do is I need to clean. So this room's kind of been left for a little while and it's got a little bit dusty. I want to clean all like behind here and just behind all the bedside tables and I'm going to move in my lamps and stuff so I've got like a salt lamp and then decorate both my bedside tables um the bookcase which was here has gone I need to find um something that I want to go there to like showcase a few bits and bobs on this gap here I've decided guys we're going for a plant here and maybe like a kind of some decor on the wall and then we're going to put a mirror in this gap here which i found the mirror i want but it's just out of stock at the moment so i can't get it yet which is really annoying my desk my lovely desk um is currently housing lots of bits and bobs so these are all the prints that i've got to go up on my wall um or walls i'm not quite sure i want to put them yet i was thinking the majority of them to go on this wall here in this corner but not really sure and I got these like command sticky things so I don't have to like drill into the walls so I can just stick the prints up because I just hate drilling on the walls because then if you want to change things around you've got holes in the walls and it just looks really annoying so we're going to play around with these. This is my center light which is in the same style as my bedside light so I'm going to get the four big bulbs like that are in those to go on this center light and then that will go up there in the middle like so which i think is lovely i've got a desk chair coming i ordered that yesterday guys very exciting i really like it it looks so comfy i think what we'll do is we'll pop you down and we will time lapse emily cleaning which is gonna be lovely for you guys to watch so enjoy <laughs> So what I've done is I've moved across my, I don't know what they call like just bits and bobs I want put on the bedside table. So on the left hand one you can see I've got my salt lamp, which is just a staple, I absolutely love salt lamp. Um, the only issue is I've realised like, I do not have enough plug sockets, there's like one plug socket behind each of these bedside tables. So I'm going to have to order some like extension leads or like extra ones that you can plug things into. Oh yeah, I need minimum two for this side, but then I also want to put some fairy lights around the bed. So. Yeah, we're gonna need a few more. And then on this side, I put my diffuser and just like a pot of fake grass. <laughs> Classic Ikea. Um, and yeah, I just think I love it. Like the minimal kind of vibe. I'm not entirely sure where to put this. This is one of those things that like generates like stars and like the galaxy on, on the ceiling and all around your room. So it's really cool, but I don't like this where you can just see like the cable because it will plug into that plug socket there. Don't really like it. Also not found because it's kind of pushing the blind back. So I don't think that's going to be where that lives, but it's there for now. And then I've also just dusted off my home pod and put it on the desk. because I think it will live on the desk. Um, again, I need some extension leads because there's only one plug socket down there, which is really annoying. And I'm going to need a few around the desk, like for the desk itself, for the home pod, like a charging thing for my Mac, potentially a lamp for the desk. like. Yeah, I want to go downstairs, see what this package is, and then I will come and show you guys. All right, I know what this is. This package has just arrived for me, and it is um, Vivea. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Vivea. So this company reached out to me, and they make shoes which are made from like plastic bottles. So I was like, this is so cool. And they're like, we would love to send you a pair. So. <laughs> I'm gonna see what they sent through. See, look, it says it here. Thank you for helping our ocean and recycling six plastic water bottles, preventing them from breaking into millions of microplastics and harming the marine life. So let's see what we have in here.
Ooh. Oh, I want to fit an outfit on and try these on. I'm gonna do that for you. I've just probably like unwrapped them and oh my God, they're like the softest shoe, like inside. This is so squishy. That's amazing. I literally can't wait to put these on my feet. And they're like really flexible as well. Oh, I'm very excited. Okay, so I've just come into my brother's room because he's got a full length mirror and it's decent lighting in here. So um, yeah, I've just popped on like a different outfit just to show you guys the shoes. And yeah, so I've just got like some, it's like a really basic like all white outfit. And then because the shoes are nude, it just like goes really well. And yeah, I love them. Like they're really cool. They just add like a sophisticated look to like basic jeans and a white top. Do you know what I mean? They're so comfortable. The inside's really like squishy and comfy. Um, they're made of like eco-friendly materials. And like I say, they're made from like recycled plastic bottles. Um, they're so like flexible, like it's crazy. And they've literally just put them on. They're perfect. I went for the, yes, I think I went for a five and a half. So a half size up from my normal size just because I've got quite wide feet and they fit gloriously. The insole in them apparently is made from like natural latex and they're machine washable, which is also fabulous because obviously they're a pale color so they'll probably get a bit dirty but you can just pop them in the washing machine. They've given me a discount code for you guys. It's just lemon M and you get 10% off. So I would honestly really recommend these shoes. Go check them out. They'd be great for school as well even. School, work, just every day. They're really like fashionable, like really cool. So yeah, I love them. Oh yeah, and also look. And on the back they've got their little logo which is lovely thank you so much for Vea for sending those out they are absolutely gorgeous and i hope you guys like them too so uh let me get changed again and uh we'll carry on with my my room harley's baking vlog and a vlog and yes so i got so i got my power adapter thing i don't know what's it called yeah, charging adapter, there we are. So it's got one, two, three, and then two USB ports, which is really handy. And then I got a squeegee for my ensuite room so I can wipe it down after I shower so mold doesn't build up. Okay, so the two beds I table is all done and I've like neatly kind of put the cables down the back, which is great. Now I wanna try and do these, which are like copper LED kind of string lights. And I kind of want them to be all like threaded all up around the back of the bed, like around that, around the frame. So I don't you know how I'm gonna do this, but I'll play around with it and see how we get on, shall we? I've done half of it, guys, and I'm absolutely in love with it. Like, how cute does that look? It takes such a long time that you have to like weave each individual strand, but that looks so adorable. Like, oh my God. Okay, we are done. I absolutely love it. Oh my goodness. Um, there, annoyingly there was like an odd number of like strands so there's one left over which I don't know what to do with yet I'll probably just feed up somewhere but oh my goodness this is like the cutest thing I've ever seen I absolutely love it that took me the best part of like an hour but it was a hundred thousand percent worth it like oh my goodness I officially cannot wait for the mattress to get here like this is so adorable Oh my god, I'm just obsessed. I'm just sat here looking at it like <laughs> a freak, but I'm obsessed. This is so, so cute. 